Months into the Gulf Coast BP oil spill recovery, it appears as though most of the oil has disappeared. But there are still heavily oiled areas. Some of the hardest hit places now show only scattered tar balls and other traces. But dig a bit and it is there. Oil hit Grand Isle, Louisiana early and often. Tulane University researcher Brad Rosenheim and his students visited soon after oil washed ashore and they've been returning frequently to study the changes. We're getting to a point now where even when we dig these trenches, the oil is hard to recognize by, uh, yeah. by our naked eye. It blends in with other layers of organic carbon uh, that, that one would expect in, in such a dynamic environment. The team is studying the weathering of the oil in different environments. And as various processes break down the oil's chemicals, Rosenheim is using a different measure to identify the oil, isotopes. Hydrocarbons are made up of hydrogen and carbon chemically, but carbon is made up of different isotopes, meaning different numbers of, of neutrons in the carbon, as is hydrogen. So we can potentially have a, a carbon-hydrogen bond that has uh, several different isotopes attached to it. Looking for unique isotopes means scientists can identify the oil even after it has broken down over time. What we're looking at is to see what chemicals stick around the longest and also probably more importantly is to isotopically fingerprint some of the breakdown chemicals that would get incorporated into different parts of the ecosystem. Isotopically, we may have a better chance at tracking that oil through the, the next several years than we would with, with just a chemical approach because of course it's going to change chemically. As Rosenheim studies the oil, colleague Dean Musavi and his students study changes to the island itself. They've been measuring erosion and buildup of the beach for three years. They regularly visit the same spots and measure elevation of the beach along transects out to the water. And the island may change after the spill and cleanup activity. Back when the Exxon Valdez spill occurred in Alaska, there was tremendous concern for the wildlife, and Exxon and the companies it contracted went to great lengths to try to clean the rocky beaches and coves of Prince William Sound. They used high pressure uh, water washes, they used dispersants, they used various means to try to break up the oil, clean the oil off of the rocks. In many cases, they found that the efforts to clean the system actually were more harmful than the oil itself had been because of the physical disturbance of the system. Here on Grand Isle, BP has learned lessons from that. You can see they're taking a much more cautious approach. In terms of cleaning the sand, they have what look like giant combines that sift through the sand, capture materials that are sticking together, which are presumably contaminated with oil, haul those away to be steam cleaned, treated to remove the oil, and then the sand is returned to the beach. Now that process is meant to be benign, and for the most part it is, but you are still driving large vehicles back and forth over the beach. You are disrupting whatever stratigraphy is there. You're returning material that has been sterilized. If Musavi and other researchers studying the Gulf Coast topography find unexpected changes they suspect are linked to the oil spill, they will need concrete evidence to determine whether the oil or cleanup played a role. That's where Musavi and Rosenheim's research can be vital. Now we're going to see some changes in areas that did have oil wash up and, and hopefully our work will help scientists determine if those changes, changes which we would call geomorphological changes to the coastline, can be assigned to, to any singular um, event of oil washing up or if it's just uh, business as usual on, on the Louisiana coastline. It may take years to know the spill's total effects, but the research gathered at Grand Isle by both research teams will give scientists important tools to measure the oil's impact.